Okay, so for this one, um, I'm going to show you a way to kind of just be sneaky about it. And if, if we were like doing math in some application problem where these weren't necessarily going to be nice numbers, this, this doesn't necessarily work. Um, but we're doing math to learn how to simplify radicals, so let me show you a, a way to get there that's pretty good. Um, so I don't know what goes into 143. I do know that 77 is 7 times 11. That one I can spot pretty easily. If I'm going to be able to simplify anything from, from this radical, I'm going to need a pair of something. So I'm going to need a pair of 7s or a pair of 11s. You have to have that pair so that you have a perfect square from 7 times 7 for 49, so that when you take the root, the 7 comes out. So what that makes me do is want to check and see if 7 or 11 goes into 143. And just looking at the 7, I can see 7 is going to go into 14, and there's going to be a remainder. So then if I try 143 divided by 11, yeah, totally it is. Uh, it's 13. And so who knows there are 11 times 13s? I do not. But because I saw this 11 over here, it made me want to look for one over there. So now let me rewrite this. This is 11 times 11, or 121, or 11 squared, times 7 times 13. So where I have that pair of 11s, or 11 squared, the square root of 11 squared brings an 11 out front. And then 7 times 13 would be 91, I think. Is that right? Let's see. That would be 70 plus 21, 91, I believe. And there it is. Again, I'm, I'm faking this a little because I know it's a, this is a, you know, the college algebra problem where it's, it's supposed to simplify. So if you could kind of spot, like on the last one where you could see that root 2 and there's a 50, you know it's going to be divisible by 2. So once you can see a piece of these, it will often give you information on, on kind of how to figure out the other part. Hopefully that's helpful.